Remember when they hated, didn't think we make it Now they break their neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hate yourself, you can't look at me, look at me And what up, what up, what up? What's good with y'all? All right, so what's good with y'all? So today, what do we have going on? Today, I'm about to be taking the 350Z uh, to Hexa, and we're about to be finishing up uh, the oil cooler and a few other things. So it's probably gonna be there for two days, just the final button up on this thing. And then after that, it'll be ready to go to a body shop and get you know, all the work and everything done, but I don't want to get it, or I don't want to drop it off at the body shop because we're still kind of, you know, tinkering with things, seeing if I may have had to tube the front if I couldn't get this thing to stop like overheating, but it seems to be doing really good now. Uh, with the oil cooler, it ain't gonna do nothing but just help it a bit more. So I think we pretty much have like something that's that's solid now at this point. I've been dogging this thing, doing ride-alongs, I've been smashing, I've been daily in it, it's been solid. So uh, I'm pretty comfortable with it. And, you know, I feel like it's at a good point to where, uh, throw the last little pieces on there and then we can drop it off at the body shop but anywho let's get ready to head out and let's warm this thing up no cold start today i just want to drive no cold start <laughs> all right so just pulling up here to hexa look at this no work being done What's up, Black? Good. Here you go. Hey, I, I, I'm a, I had an appointment. <laughs> no, I had an appointment here. <laughs> Bet. I just don't. I just don't talk to the the middleman. <laughs> I am on schedule. I talk to the boss. What's up, Tiny D? I mean T. Look, he shaved, bro. You look hella young now. No glasses. Oh, that's what it is. You look cute without glasses, bro. Oh, damn. <laughs> Man, you look much better. I see why you got a girlfriend now. Take it for a Hold on, look. Get a look at little, little T right here, yo. Nah, you arched the eyebrows. That's what's different, <laughs> nigga. That's what's different. What's up? You cute, though. Thank you. You are too. You look gorgeous without glasses, bro. No homo. <laughs> Damn, look, this is like, he got crack out and stuff. <laughs> Y'all wildin' now. <laughs> so this is the oil cooler setup we're doing. This thing is beefy, comes with a fan. This fan actually pulls hella good. I did a little demonstration. Let me see if I can find the video and, and link it in here. But this is definitely gonna cool it pretty good. And this should overall keep the temps down. I think once I, once I do this, probably header wrap the headers. And then I think the engine bay temps will be like perfect. I think we won't have to do anything else. And has a thermostat, whole little setup. This shit pull hella hard. <laughs> that shit's pulling stupid hard. Luckily, we did get the thermostat. Yeah. It's hella cool. overcooled. Cause it's gonna cool the shit out of that oil. So how long until this starts up? I'm interested in seeing this one right here run. How long? Yeah. You're not starting it. We're doing fab and wiring. He's taking it back, doing everything else. Little muddy baby. This yours? This you? This shit's clean, bro. This shit's hella clean. Huh? You put it on? So this man's is the one who bought my uh my old uh, S369 setup off my setup. Ooh. When's it gonna be running? I don't fucking know. Look at all this spider webs. Been out here for like a year. Damn. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Shit. Should look chunky under there. Yeah, it looks fat. As the way a 2J should look. Jeez. Hey. What's up, Granny? Granny. I know it's it's all good. It it's like a catfish getting filleted over here, and boom, just like that, two days have passed. So 
So we're here picking up the car. It's like hella ash on the ground. All these fires and stuff over here. That's rough, dude. Hella ash. Mm -hmm. Bro, I see it flying around. All right, so you remember we had came, dropped this thing off about a day ago. And we installed the oil cooler on here. And oil cooler is humongo, jumbo, has a fan, everything. It's a sick setup, so, you know, this should just contribute to it cooling a little bit better. But it is in there, it looks sick. So you can, I mean, y'all can kind of see it in there. You can see the fan. It's funny because people were like, uh, man, it's not the right way to make this intake. Look at that glued intake sticking together. People mad. Like, eh, it's hella ghetto. Bruh, literally when you glue this together, for some reason it makes some weird chemical reaction and it literally like heats it up and basically kind of like welds itself or something. I have no clue, but it's been working. It's made power and hasn't separated. It hasn't done nothing stupid to where I had to fix it. It's literally been in here solid with freaking glue. So don't knock it until you try it. So yeah, cut out all fix now too. So I can mop around quiet mode or loud mode. Talk to your girl, slap music. Like, oh, you wanna run it? Chomp, 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 chomp. Dude, my poor car, look at this ash, bruh. Jesus Christ. These fires are ridiculous. Uh, next thing I'm about to check is I want to make sure that these injectors that I have will work on my LS. So I have these 65 pound injectors that I plan on running on the uh, LS and it comes with these adapters. I originally was going to run these on the LS3 because I was doing the flex fuel setup, but decided to run these on the LS1 instead because we are going to be boosting that thing. So it came with these adapters and everything. I just want to make sure everything's going to work in the rail and in the manifold. The whole kit right here. Thank you. Welcome. I mean, overall, it's pretty pretty close on length. It's a slight difference, but that too. That's probably okay. It's got something to, for the clip to go on on the yeah, top. Yeah, the clips are there inside. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it'd be fine. All right, so injectors are going to work. And these uh, plug harnesses, it's like a little adapter harness. This also, uh, blah, blah, blah. this uh, also, ah! <laughs> this will also work. So since we are supercharging the vet officially, this will be going back. I no longer need this intake set up. So send this back to Summit. Yeah. So when I tell y'all we are officially going supercharged, it is like set in stone. I actually placed the order for the supercharger today. So 100% we are supercharging this thing. Uh, we are using the LS3 rods. We ordered forged pistons for it. So we are gonna be boosted. Uh, end goal for the vet, probably 550 to 650, somewhere uh, along those lines, but I can't keep a daily or, or anything. Dude, out of five of my current cars, not in counting the sixth uh, Fox body or whatever, I don't really count that because I haven't started on it yet, but Five of my cars currently have built motors and four of those are now officially boosted. So crazy when you think about it. I have four boosted cars, two turbo cars and two supercharged cars. Wildin. Since they got all these fires and stuff going on, I'm literally about to get up out of here. Air quality out here is trash, so time to go. Dude, the car is hella quiet with the cutout clothes. <laughs> I'm about to be on the freeway slapping music, chilling. I'll see y'all as soon as I get back to the house. All right, so what's good? Just getting back home. And I'm basically about to chill in the house for the rest of the day. Like, bro, y'all can look outside and just see how gloomy it is. Like, it's just ugly out here. Mind you, we're like probably I don't know how many miles away, but you can see ash on this car, this car at the house, and it's ash on this car, so air is like hella bad right now. Both Z's. Which one's your favorite? Which one you like more? 
People would be like, oh, which car do you like more out of all your cars? Like, they all serve different purposes. I love this one. I love this one. I love the SC. I like, I don't know. I love all of them. I don't really have a favorite, but I really do like the 350. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But, yeah, so, uh, short recap. Um, I was gonna save it and kind of just wait and just hit y'all with a surprise, but I did order the supercharger. So the ANA kit is on the way for the C5. And like that, I'm looking forward to. The wide body, I've been waiting on the wide body for almost, what, two, three months now? Two months? About two, almost three months. Jeez. Oof. But anywho, um, I'll give y'all updates and all that stuff later. And yeah, I just, I gotta get in the house, bro. It's, it's ugh, out here. So until next time. <laughs> I've been going too crazy, these niggas too shady, speed limit 65, I'm about to do 80, fuck the niggas hating no. on, I've been on the come up, you can go to speed, but it's better if you run up, you can ride with a nigga, but I'ma give you a choice, if you really wanna holler, then I'ma give you a